Welcome to part three of constructing D rigs. And for this exercise, I'm going to be using Porter's D rig kickers. Now, because I'm using for this exercise a size two curve shank, I've got the choice of either using the purple packet or the orange packet. The purple being the extra large and intended for hook sizes one to two, and the orange one being for hook sizes two to four. So I'll be putting these two aside and using the purple one. So let's pull one out here. And get my micro ring swivel out. So the first thing to do is to take the micro rig ring swivel and slide it over the back end of this dairy kicker so let me slide it through like that come on get over there we go right that is part one of the exercise complete now i've got to take my hook and for this purpose i'm going to use the quarter dark matter coated braid wheat green 18 pound and i'm going to just select the length of about 30 centimeters and i'm going to strip back 12 centimeters of braid there we go stripping that about the way Now I'm going to just make a normal knotless knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'll show you why I'm selecting that. Because I need to have a very small piece sitting back. And by creating that little roughness there, I can take a bit of putty, put a piece of putty around that to actually make that hook flip really nicely. Then I just cut the tag end off because I don't need that for a hair portion. Now comes the interesting part. So firstly, I take the dairy kicker not the flat end but the sharp end and i'm going to slide that over the hook and onto the bend now i need to take my braid and slide my braid through pull this all the way down slide this over the back And onto the hook like that now I pull on this end until I have created the perfect D there we go now again I'm going to take one of the sinkers and all you need to just do is just open up the sinker little metal sleeve and put it onto the braid I just wet the braid with a bit of saliva pull it back like that and finish it off at the back we'll do again 21 centimeters So I fold the line double and I create a double overhand knot. 
one and twice like that again I take my chori tool and I tighten the back of the knot cut it off with my scissors and there you have it now let's put a bait on I take my floss Take my baiting needle and let's use another color bait. Floss cap. There we go. Okay, now I've got the floss cap in. Put the baiting needle through. Get the floss through the eye of the swivel. Line it up, fold it back so that the both ends just touch the eye of the swivel. Pull my bait over so that it just, just, just goes in halfway. Cut it off, just take that piece away. And then I burn it with a lighter. Give it a dab. And there we have it. A perfectly constructed D-rig without needing to tie a D. And there you have it. A perfectly presented D-rig on a D-rig kicker ready to catch that big one. Give it a bash. And there is the end result of our D-Rig rigs. The white one with a D-Rig kicker, the one in the middle, an IQ D-Rig, and the one on the right hand side, a normal braided, semi-stiff link, also done D-Rig style. All three presentations look exactly the same and will give you exactly the same effect. The choice is yours.